analysis of junction field effect transistor. This is the circuit diagram for the characteristics of N channel JFET and this is the characteristics of it. Here VGG with the input biasing voltage and VDD with the output biasing voltage. VDS with the drain to source voltage across the JFET element and ID with the drain current through the JFET. Applying Kirchhoff's voltage law at this output section, we get VDD equal to VDS plus ID RD. Here from this equation, we can say that VDS gets its maximum value when current ID is 0. Therefore, putting ID equal to 0 in this equation, we get VDS equal to VDD. In this characteristics curve, this point is located here as A. The maximum drain current occurs when VDS becomes 0. Therefore, taking VDS equal to 0 in this equation, we get VDD equal to ID RD and therefore ID equal to VDD upon RD. This point is located here as B. Now connect these two points by a straight line. This line is called DC load line. In this figure, this is active zone. During operation of a JFET as an amplifier, operating point should be chosen somewhere well within the active zone of the characteristics. But when it is determined by DC load line analysis, it would be the most optimized position of Q point. Here the characteristics curve for a DC gate bias voltage VGS equal to minus 2 volt cuts the load line at point Q. At that Q, the corresponding drain current would be ID and drain to source voltage VDS as indicated by dotted lines. The point Q VDS ID indicates in figure for VGS equal to minus 2 volt is the optimum position.